Hey guys and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. In today's video what we're going over is creating custom fonts so we can use them inside of our game. So sorry, we're not actually creating a custom font, we're just importing it into Unreal Engine 5 so we can use it within our game. And I'm also going to be showing you some good places where you can find custom fonts as well. So you don't just have to use the default Unreal font, you can use your own custom as you can see on screen here. So I've only got one example on screen at the moment, but it's very easy to use more than one font if you want. So without further ado, let me delete this and I'll show you how I've done it. So what you want to do is you want to go to a website in which you can download fonts for free. Now one which I personally like to use quite a lot is defonts.com, that's a very good one which I'll leave a link to in the description down below, but there are many other websites you can use as well, some of which you need to pay for, some of which are free, but I believe all of the ones on defont are free. And you can see we have many different options here. So if I were to just click on a random one, for example, sci-fi techno, let's see what that comes up with. We get some which look like this, which are quite cool. So let's choose airstrike. And in the custom preview, you can type in what you want. So for example, I'll type in testing just as an example, and you can see it does change like this. One thing to keep in mind is some of these will have different licenses. So you can see this is for commercial use, you need to visit this. So some you'll be able to use commercially, some you won't. You just need to have a look at the licensing. But as this is just for a video, this isn't commercial, I don't need to worry about that. So once you've found one which you like, you just want to press download and put this into your downloads wherever you want it. And then this will download as a zip file, so you need to extract that. To extract it, very simply, you select it, right click, and then extract all. Press extract, and then it should open up a new document with all of the font in here. Now this one has got lots of different variations of the font. Some will just have one. I just want the default airstrike font up here, it should be a .ttf file. Once you've got that, all you want to do is drag and drop this into Unreal. So let me move this onto another monitor, as you know what I'm doing, I'm just dragging and dropping in. Let me open Unreal once again, and let's open up our content browser by going to control space, and I've already got my own folder here for fonts, just to keep it organised. So I'm now going to drag and drop in this airstrike font, and you'll get this font face import options here. If you don't get this, you've likely done something wrong. It should again be a .ttf file. We're just going to press yes on this, and now we have our own font imported into Unreal like so. We can now open up a widget or wherever you want to use this font, and then change it here. So again, if this is in a widget, what you're going to do is go to font family and just choose the one you want, which for me is airstrike font like so. Let me just center this up a bit, and now we've got our own font like this imported into Unreal perfectly like so. So we can compile and save that. Now you can see again, we don't just have to use the default font, we can use our own. Let's see if this one includes numbers. It does indeed. So some fonts don't include numbers, which is why I put a V instead of a five. So we'll close this and have a look. Let's hit Alt P. We can see we've now got this on the screen here like so. So I think that'll be it for this video. It's redundant everything we want to do. We've set it up so we can basically just import and use custom fonts within Unreal Engine 5 perfectly and easily as you can see on screen here. So thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it and hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.